Hi, welcome back. This is Adventures with Dr. Joe. Today we're going to look at the Derek 750. Let's sharpen some drill bits. It uses a diamond wheel which is replaceable. Also, if this gets clogged up, you can actually take the wheel and flip it upside down to double its life. It's under this shroud. Let's see if we can take a look at that. We'll pop this open and there's the diamond wheel and you can take these two st screws out of the top which basically is the fan take the diamond wheel and flip it over and the reason you can do that is because sharpening doesn't use the entire width of the wheel typically it's only using the um, the lower half of it so we'll, we'll put this cover back on there it is and then let's discuss how this all works. If we have a standard drill bit, 118 degrees, you can see that it fits right here. This is 118 degrees. These are not very good. These are Chinese, but for the purposes today, they're good because they have a complete titanium oxide coating, and we're going to sharpen part of that off to show how it sharpens. These are some high quality um, um, snap-on drill bits made in the United States. Beautiful. These are 135 degrees. And you can see how that fits here. Well, once you determine the angle, we need to set this angle either at 118 or 135. And then we set this at either masonry, split point, such as this, or standard bits. And then we're ready to sharpen. Let's first chuck up a split point bit because I've got it set to 135 degrees split point, so we're already set. We just loosely place it in the chuck. We don't make it too tight because it needs to rotate. And then the chuck has these flats, one on each side, that will fit perfectly into this holder. We'll bring this lever up, which pulls back these two steel pawls that are really critical for aligning the drill bit in the perfect orientation for sharpening. So we'll pull this back. The drill bit goes against the drill bit stop, and then it finds its, finds its way right into here. And then we're going to turn, these, turn the uh, drill bit until it has the most minimal, most minimal point where then it's held in place and we'll take a look at that. Okay, you can see the pawls pull back and then we can rotate the drill bit until there. That's the perfect location again where it's, where it's the tightest and then we stop, tighten the chuck and pull this out. So we've pulled this out, tightened it up, <clears throat> now we're going to sharpen. We've got it at 135 split point, so we should be set. We'll turn it on, and there, there, there are these cams in the chuck that will rotate and it will go in and come back out and go in and out, and it's perfectly aligned so that the face of the bit will get sharpened. And you hear that grinding sound, and I do it so that each side is ground the same. And now we can look at the face of the bit and see how fine that's really nicely polished. Maybe not that trail, trail end, that's okay, because that's lower than that. And then now we're going we're, we're gonna to try to just touch up the split point. What the split point does 
is it narrows the tip of the drill bit because these drill bits notoriously are really good at self-starting. They don't wander like these drill bits. These have a much wider tip and these tend to wander as you're starting to drill. They require either a pilot hole or a pin punch to put a dimple in some metal. These can go straight in, but I almost always use a pilot hole. But this is now how you do the relief angle or the split point. These are strongly angled. And again, there's a flat that's up and down. So we'll line that up. And there it's in. And then this device actually pulls back. So you'll, you'll hear this. We'll do it. We'll get about two grinds on it. And then we'll flip it over and do the same on the other side. And then that's all it takes. And we can see that that secondary that secondary grind has been has been tuned up. So that's how you you treat a split point and that effectively narrows the tip which prevents wandering when you're using it. We only use this stage to do that split point with split point bits. These standard bits don't uh, don't get that uh, secondary grind. So again, we'll do a standard bit. We're going to switch this to 118. Switch this. Oops. Don't do that. There to the split to the uh, standard bit. Get this gently <coughs> started in here. Get it against the drill stop. And then let's take a look again in there. We'll turn the light on. You can see the pawls pulled apart. And then the drill bit. Let's zoom right in there a little bit more even. So that's a good view there. I just hold it in place, then tighten it, take it out, make sure it's really tight. And then you notice this has no, has no grind yet. We're going we're gonna to show you how to grind that. Okay, we've got this properly chucked up, tightened. We've got this set at 118, regular drill bit. We're in good shape. Now, now when we look at the tip, look how nice and shiny that is. That's been ground and it's equal. So these tips are ground a little bit more, which is fine. We don't need that end. This is the cutting surface here and here. And that drill bit has been sharpened beautifully. Uh, it's ready to go. It's as simple as that. This is a really good drill bit sharpener. I have really enjoyed it. It's been very straightforward, reliable, and the bits that come out of here are very sharp. It's worked really well for me. Let's sharpen a masonry bit. We need to move this to 135. So we pull it out and there it is. Rotate this to the masonry drill bit setting. Just there. Chuck up our bit. This one's smaller than the ones we've been using. Just so it's kind of loose and can move. Put it back in here, bring it. And then we're going to grip the drill bit, but we want the flute. We want this part of the bit to be up at about 2 o'clock. So if straight up and down is 12, we want it right about here. Let's see how that is. And that is good. Tighten it. Pull it out. Really tighten it. Let's sharpen a masonry bit. And that's good. So we can see the tip of that has been sharpened. And that's now a sharp masonry bit. This is carbide, a carbide insert. But again... 
the um, diamond wheel is able to sharpen this no problem. So that's masonry bits. So we've sharpened all three bit types with the drill doctor and it's worked well. I'm going to go back to the split point which is my the most common one and uh, we'll continue to sharpen here. So that completes a review and demonstration of the Derex 750. It's actually the 750 SP. It can sharpen standard drill bits, split point drill bits, masonry bits. It comes with two chucks that allow you to sharpen up to three quarters of an inch. Anything bigger than that, I sharpen by hand. I have a YouTube video on hand sharpening. Please take a look at it. It's actually kind of fun. It's hand sharpening on the CBN diamond wheel. Uh, at any rate, this is a good unit. Derek's has many, many units, some costing many thousands of dollars used professionally. But these are affordable for the home use, and boy, do they work well. If you, if you even happen to break a drill bit tip, well, you can grind it flat and then resharpen it with this. It takes some time to get those flutes down, but you can do it and save your drill bit. I've done that before. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. Please click like. Or comment. It'd be my pleasure to see any comments and I respond to every one. Until next time, Adventures with Dr. Joe, please stay safe.